welcome to this very first episode of retouching and chill so basically what i'm going to be doing in this video i'm just going to be uh, doing skin retouching and just showing you guys what i do when i'm doing skin retouching and this is not going to be an in-depth explanation tutorial i just want to show you guys what i do when i'm doing skin retouching and yeah let you guys see me retouch this image so let's just kick in and restart uh, retouching this very nice and beautiful image so i'm just going to come to my frequency separation and just going to come as usual and play my 16-bit action and for those interested you can check my description of this very video to get my retouching essentials pack and my uh, skin tone lights so the link is going to be in the description of this video so i'm just going to come and i play my action just like that and for this step it is where i get to blur out or remove the details from the skin by pulling up the radius so just going to pull up the radius up the point when i'm losing out on the details in the skin area so i think at around eight that's when i'm losing out on all the details in the skin area so you have to make sure that you are losing out completely on the details in the skin area so come and simply hit ok i'm just going to close this and what next is i'm just going to come and select the low frequency layer and get my mixer brush tool and set it up clean one make sure i select the second option then the wetness i'm going to leave the wetness at around nine load 75 mix 90 floor 100 as usual then sample oils not checked then come to my low frequency layer and i'm just going to double click right here and simply darken the image to see every area that has an even skin tone transition so after darkening that i'm going to come back and select the low frequency layer and start evening out the skin tones in this image so just going to come and start left clicking and just blend so this is not uh, your usual in-depth tutorials this is just a retouch and chill kind of uh, video so just i'm not going to be explaining everything so what i'm doing i'm using the mixer brush tool to blend or even out uh, the skin tones in this image so it's going to see my progress so far and it is really good so i could come and simply even out the skin tones in every area so i'm basically using a mixer brush tool to even out the transitions within uh, the skin tones and making sure that i have nice transitions but when it comes to this highlight i simply blend it using a mixer brush tool and i don't eliminate it because when i do eliminate it it is going to simply remove the details from all the dimension or the original shape of the model's face and i don't want that to happen so i'm just going to come and even out uh, the skin tones in these areas just like that so i'm basically using a mixer brush tool to blend or even out the transitions within the skin tones and what i'm doing i'm basically trying hard to not over zoom in completely because i want to see every uneven skin tone transition the best way possible so i am not mixing to this zoom i'm just blending or mixing the skin tones from a far distance or how someone is going to be looking at this portrait after i have been able to post it or upload it on social media so that is how i'm trying to retouch the image using the mixer brush tool so basically i'm trying to flatten or have nice and smooth transitions within the skin tones and I haven't removed the blemishes yet from uh, this very image so i'm basically left clicking and painting to have even transitions within uh, the model skin so just like that so basically this is what i do for all my beauty uh, portraits 
So I'm just going to come and continue doing this. So basically I'm just going to do this and keep on checking on the progress. And I think we are getting there. Then the next thing I prefer to do is coming back and getting to my lasso tool to create a more nice transition within the skin tone. I'm just going to come and get the lasso tool, feathering 22 pixels, and still on my low frequency layer, and just come and start drawing those nice shapes, just like that. And come back to filter, blur, and come to Gaussian blur, and move this radius up to a point when I'm having that nice texture for this model skin. So I think around 24. We are good to go so i'm going to be applying that onto the rest of the image but as i'm doing this you're going to notice that i'm not selecting the edges or maybe the lips so i'm keeping away from uh, the edges of the lips of the model so basically this is how i do my retouching and i usually take my time so i hope you're learning so how i'm doing or how i'm using this a lasso tool. I'm simply left clicking and moving the mouse or cursor around to make a shape and left clicking on Gaussian blood to apply the effect onto those particular areas. So that is how I'm using uh, this Gaussian blood to perfect uh, the skin tones in this image. So, so right click and come back to Gaussian blood. So let's see let me just come and apply it right on this area. So you can see that we are still retaining the original skin details. If I'm to zoom in and I turn on the before and after, we still have the original details in the skin area. Then the next thing I will do for this image is now cleaning up or removing the blemishes and some of the flyaway hairs in this image. So. That is part of the high frequency layer. Come and get uh, the clone stamp tool, opacity and flow at 100. And zoom in because I want to deal with uh, these blemishes the best way possible. So I'm just going to hold on the alternate and sample and click over the blemish. So alternate, click on a clean area close to the blemish and left clicking over uh, the blemishes to uh, clean them or get rid of them from at this very image so basically that is what I am trying to do so I'm going to take my time because I want this to be at the most perfect uh, result for uh, retouching so if at all you're not careful with this you're going to end up with an image that is not looking nice at all so I'd recommend that when it comes to removing of these blemishes or skin imperfections you choose the best tool possible and like i usually say i would not recommend you guys to use uh, the spot healing brush tool because it is going to be leaving some patches when you're trying to clean up or remove the blemishes from your images and when you're removing blemishes make sure you zoom in as much as possible to have a precise a blemish removal of ah, the blemishes from the image i hope i'm making sense by that so i'm just trying to uh, do this a uh, retouch and chill kind of video because i feel like i have done so much of the education about skin retouching uh, but you could still pick up a leaf or enjoy this very tutorial if at all you're still watching up to at this very moment so just come and right click and continue so you have to keep on zooming in and out to see your progress and the blemishes that may be remaining in the overall image so i'm basically now using uh, the clone stamp tool and sampling and painting over the blemishes i want to eliminate from uh, this particular image so that is what i'm doing uh, to uh, the blemishes and I think I'm doing a nice job so let me just come and uh, try to eliminate these tiny skin imperfections 
remember blemish removal is going to be the main determinant for uh, your overall skin retouching because uh, when you leave out or when you don't remove some of the blemishes from the images uh, people may take you to be a careless uh, retoucher so always make sure that you are careful and you take your time while trying to clean up or remove blemishes from your images when you're doing the skin retouching we don't want to leave out blemishes because we are trying to rush through the skin retouching process so just want to show you guys what i do when i'm retouching and yeah i could be playing some music but i can't play music right now because when i play music uh i may get some copyright strikes from youtube so I won't be playing music right here. I could be listening to it, but I wouldn't put it in this tutorial because, yeah, this is like a tip when you're editing, just try hard to listen to something that is going to keep you active because uh, most of the times uh, this kind of monotony kind of gets to you and you may get bored when you're trying to retouch. So, Always make sure or ensure that you maybe get distracted somehow by maybe listening to music instead of getting so much absorbed into uh, the editing process for your images. So I think that is like a tip for you guys. So what I'm doing, I'm just trying to clean uh, the model skin using the clone stamp tool. So and you're seeing that it is not leaving any patches behind because i'm sampling texture and painting it over the blemish using uh, the alternate and cleaning up uh, these uh, blemishes so that is what i'm doing to clean up the skin or remove the blemishes from uh, this very image so you can see that we are doing a pretty nice job so let me just see what i've done so far you can see Every time I'm editing, I keep on zooming in and out to see uh, the progress for the images. So, just going to zoom in and look for those blemishes I have or I could not see at a given uh, zoom ratio. So, that is all I'm trying to do when I'm cleaning up or removing blemishes. So, make sure you remove every visible kind of blemish from your portraits when you're doing uh, the skin retouching like I'm doing right now so just come and eliminate so basically this is what I go through trying to edit so I could be playing music I could even pause and give my eyes a break and come back later on because you always have to give your eyes that kind of a little bit of rest so and when I'm done doing all this the next thing I'm going to do I could come and do some little bit of dodging and burning if at all I prefer to so I'm trying to get rid of these tiny flyaway hairs or you could as well work on those flyaway hairs with uh, the spot healing brush tool. So I think it really does a pretty nice job to eliminate or remove blemishes from the images. So I think we are almost there for the blemish removal and the skin retouching process. And I think uh, this looks nice and decent and it looks uh, beautiful. So what uh, I would do next is trying hard to uh, get rid of every tiny blemish. So I think I'm done removing these blemishes. So let's see the progress of all what we have done for this particular image. So this is where we started and here we are before and after. We still have the skin intact and uh, the image is now turning out take shape. So I'm just going to delete this. And the next thing I'll do is coming and simply pumping up uh, the contrast by adding uh, this legacy option just like that. I'm sorry if at all you can hear some noise, noisy neighborhood. So come back to the blacks and simply 
pump up the blacks just to around four and I prefer to add that kind of kind of yellows to my blacks just like that so when I turn the yellows down it is going to be adding some blues to my blacks like you can see right now so I prefer to add that kind of blue feel to the image I think negative four can do so let's see the before and after for that and this adds uh, some light lightness or some livelihood to the image so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a stamp visible layer and i'm just going to come and do the eye whitening in the camera raw filter so come to the camera raw filter and zoom into the eye just like that and i could simply come and get the adjustment brush tool and set it temperature down and just come and do this to the because I want to eliminate the greens in the white area of the eye and why I put the temperatures down is because I want to eliminate the yellows and since I want the eye to pop I'm just going to put this to around four highlights to four and whites to four and desaturate the rest of the colors that may be in the white area of the eye and simply increase on the size and start painting over only what I feel should be white so I won't paint over that because that I that area is not usually white in color so i'm just going to paint over only the white area and just come and paint over this so basically this is what i do when i'm retouching so you can see that as the eye has now been whitened so the next thing i do is simply coming and hitting ok so after clicking ok the next thing after doing the eye whitening i could come and simply remove some of the veins from this white area of the eye by using this clone stamp tool and reducing on the size and coming and trying to eliminate on the amount of veins in the white area of the eye. I won't remove everything I just want to remove those prominent veins just like that and eliminating them from that area of the eye so so i think uh, that looks fine so let's see the overall before and after for this very image alternate and this is the before and after before after so this is all i do for skin retouching and color grading for images in photoshop and thank you for watching me in this very first series of retouching and chill and if at all you have loved this video don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video so that youtube can rank it high and you can drop a comment in the comment section if at all you have loved this very first episode for my retouching and chill ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and i'll see you in yet more videos on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating